Of course, there's a big difference here. You're wearing a gi, you know, and hip throws and shoulder throws. You got to be careful operation to pull that on off, but it's just very dangerous to do. It's a big risk you're taking because your opponent's going to be slippery. And if you throw one off and he slips off, he's going to have a better position than you know. Of course, the submissions, they are the same as in, in, in submissions, but that I think will be the biggest difference. The gi, there is no gi. But leg sweeps, those inside leg picks, man, I really like those things. And, and it's true what you say, you know, the more variety you have and the more you can bring to the table that other people don't know, the more chance of success you're going to get. Hi, this is Shadi and I want to discuss today a very uh, important topic in my opinion and that is judo in MMA. Is it good enough as a base? I'm not saying, oh look here's an Osotogari in MMA, that means it's perfectly okay to do judo etc. But I'm talking about all the aspects uh, of the art and is it good enough to be as a base? Because um, the recent trend is BJJ and wrestling takedown with Muay Thai as a base for MMA and that seems a, to be a very good and functional formula I would agree but what about judo now if I tell you Ronda Rousey anyone would say that well look at how she ended her career in the UFC it was very terrible at the same time when she when she was there when she started there was no level simply put so judo must not mean that good and when she tried to clinch Amanda Nunes, it was like she barely did anything to her. So, is it good enough as a base? Well, first let's talk about the problems or the differences between judo and MMA. So, judo is a predominantly gi-oriented uh, martial art, and there's a lot of reliance on the gi, whether it is pulling, pushing, sleeve, lapel, Russian arms, etc. Um, the clinch in judo, for example, you know, with the S grip is strictly forbidden and that is for a reason because once you get that clinch with the S grip, it's very easy to do whatever throw it is, whether it's a hip throw, uh, reap inside the legs or outside the legs, sweep, etc. So that can tell you one thing that if you are a judoka with a very strong clinch game, your judo takedowns can be very much effective. Other than that, um, in judo, the gi is pretty much with the invention of judo. For, what do I mean by that? In the 1880s, when judo came to be, and uh, all the other jujitsu schools were starting to um, become like modern schools of today, like they started using the gi, but before they would either use the traditional kimono. Even now, if you go to traditional uh, jiu-jitsu uh, demonstrations, you would see they're wearing uh, Japanese kimonos and not a gi, unless, you know, something similar to Aikido. But my point is, those throws that we are watching in judo these days, they were invented far longer and way before judo was ever even a thing. So they, were, they would do them in a, in a way or a manner that they were fighting against someone wearing an armor so they would rely a lot on uh, overhooks and underhooks and one big example is the nage no kata uh, which is one of the basics and fundamental katas in judo in the sutemi waza or the sacrificing techniques uh, they show you a way of gripping uh, self-defense and quote-unquote because of the armor so you can see them using underhooks and overhooks check it out both sides grappling in a defensive position. The technique was already in existence in Koryu, one of the older schools of Jiu-Jitsu, and the exact same form has been handed down. In the present day Dandori, we do not start directly from such a position. In Sumigayashi, you fall backwards in a self-sacrificing movement. So as you saw, they were doing it in a like tricep grip and underhook uh, in a very traditional fashion, the jujitsu old ways of uh, gripping before throwing, and then you saw it being done with the normal gi grip of the day. So, the point of this demonstration is that these throws, whether it's uchimata, uh, osotogari, etc., they were all being done using the grips that MMA fighters use in order to pull off judo throws. So, 
Can it be used as a base? Absolutely, and when it comes to the ground fighting, I don't need to say that much because we all know where ground grappling and submission came from in the first place, all these arm bars, triangles, etc. So, but um, the transition is not as simple as it is. So, for example, if I'm a very good judoka, I'm very reliant on the gi, etc. It's not, I'm not gonna just you know take a Muay Thai class and then immediately go to MMA it's not gonna be that easy so the only thing that uh, you need to do as a judoka if you want to go to MMA is that you need to bring up the habit or build the habit of the clinch and the under and the overhook grips it seems very simple I know but that's the only thing that's uh, preventing judokas from being good MMA fighters if you're clinch and you know closing distance etc to get that very close grip is bad most likely you're gonna get knocked out so let's look at Kron Gracie um, his takedown was very weak in his last fight he tried to pull guard he tried to go for clinch etc and it was to no avail so if he had that distance or to clinch I'm sorry if he had that capability to really close the distance and get that clinch and also work on some hip throws I don't think that would have been a problem but now with the with wrestling it's become very much a conclusion that judo is not very good because you have to go through that transition but wrestling they don't even wear a gi they do things uh, they just shoot for doubles and singles and suplexes and also hip tosses as well so that's why wrestling is a far you know preferred choice than judo for uh, MMA and you don't see anyone learning judo in order to go to MMA unless they competed in judo for a very long time and then went to MMA sort of like Rousey who was an Olympic silver uh, bronze medalist and Kayla Harrison two times Olympic gold medalist so can you, for example, if I want to go and do MMA strictly, just my end goal is MMA. Should I start with judo? Uh, it really depends actually, because how far are you willing to go in judo before you go and compete?